I can't post a positive statement on social media about teachers without at least a couple people commenting that all teachers are out there trying to brainwash students into communism or that the work of all teachers is to get students to hate the country that they live in. And every time I find myself commenting and asking these people the question, when was the last time you were actually in a school? Or do you even know any teachers? And then inevitably, lots and lots of teachers will pile onto those comments, attempting to point out reality and refute these people who have been so misguided about what actually happens in schools. And the reason I point this out is that teachers and other educators shouldn't have to put up with this kind of abuse. Teaching is challenging enough, and this kind of negativity only makes it harder. I mean, I'd love to see this pundit who tweeted recently, a reminder that public education is a babysitting service at the convenience of the government employees. I'd love to see him teach 25 kindergartners how to read, or teach a class of 30 students how photosynthesis works, with three of those students being ESL and don't speak any English. I mean, how long do you think he'd last teaching during COVID? I wish instead of trashing educators, these people who are constantly putting them down would realize that if they built them up, if they offered support, volunteered as guest speakers, donated supplies, and just understood the fact that 99% of educators are motivated by helping young people find success, it would actually be serving society in a helpful and constructive way. One time when I was teaching ninth grade, I had a student with a parent who was convinced that I had it out for her son. She was constantly making my job difficult, sending me rude emails, going to my bosses with false information regularly, and even telling her son to deliberately disobey me in class. It was one of the most miserable times I've ever had as a teacher because not only did I still need to teach my students language arts and critical thinking and collaboration and work ethic, I was also having to carry the weight of someone actively working against me, which made teaching all of those other things so much more difficult. It's a long story that I can share some other time, but eventually that parent saw that I didn't have a vendetta against her son, but that it was actually the opposite, that I'm passionate about serving and helping her son. And once she realized this, she started actively supporting me in my class. She got other parents to support the class. She volunteered her time. She actually paid for some supplies that I needed for a project. And then more than anything, she made sure that her son showed up every day with respect. And as a result of all of this, I was such a better teacher for him and all of the other students in my class. Now listen, are there teachers out there who are less than stellar at their jobs? Of course, but this is true in any industry. But as someone who has had the opportunity to connect with thousands of teachers all over the world, I can safely tell you that the vast majority of them got into this profession with the primary motivation to help students find success. And I can only imagine the impact it would have on the education system if everyone could realize this and assume good intentions and lend your support. I can already picture the comments I'm going to get on this video.